everyone. So today we are going to work on distributive property, what it is and how we can use it to help us perform multiplication. So the idea of distributive property is if I give you something, 3 times 2 plus 5, what this means is I can do 3 times 2 and 3 times 5, which is 3 times 2 plus 3 times 5. So that's 6 plus 15, which is 21. Another way we can think about this is using our order of operations, and we can add what's inside our parentheses first. So that's the same thing as saying 3 times 7, which we know is 21. Do you see how we got the same answer? So the idea is, what we're going to do is work backwards. We're going to start multiplying two numbers, but one of them is going to be very large. So we're going to break it apart into smaller pieces. Let's take a look at our worksheets. So problem one in the worksheet asks us to do 9 times 17. So if we have a two-digit number that we don't know how to multiply, what we can do is break it apart as the sum or the addition statement of two numbers that we do know. For example, I can say 9 times, well 17, I can write that as 10 plus 7. So now, when I'm doing my multiplication, I can multiply 9 times 10, which is 90, plus 9 times 7, which is 63. So now we just add 90 and 63. So let's line them up, and we get 0 plus 3 is 3, and 9 plus 6 is 15. So 9 times 17 is 153. So just to recap that, what we did is we took the 17 and made it the sum of two numbers we do know how to multiply. Let's try another one. Let's go to problem number two. Problem number two is pretty much the same. Problem number two says six times 14. Well, how can we break apart 14 into the sum of two things we know how to multiply? So let's rewrite this as six times now, 14 can be written as 10 plus 4. If you notice what I'm doing here, each time I'm writing it as my 10s plus my 1s. It's the easiest way to multiply because 6 times 10, we know right away, is 60. And plus 6 times 4 is 24. If you said that, you'd be right. And now we can add together 60 plus 24, so plus 24, and that gives me, 6 plus 2 is 8, 84. So 6 times 14 is 84. That's it. That's all we're doing today and tomorrow, actually. So let's try problem number 3. Problem number 3. It says... 18 times 5. I never said that the problem, the number that we break apart, has to be the second number. I know we did that for the first two problems, but I can break apart this first one. So 18 is 10 plus 8 times 5. And just like before, we multiply 10 times 5, which is 50 plus 8 times 5, which is 40. And now we add those two numbers together. If I have 5 tens and 4 tens, that makes 9 tens or 90. So, and for the last one for the day, number 4. Let's do this one. 13 times 
times 9. Well, we can rewrite 13 as 10 plus 3 times 9. And now let's add them. 10 times 9 is 90 plus 9 times 3 is 27 and 90 plus 27 is 0 plus 7 is 7 and 9 plus 2 is 11. 117. So that's it for today's lesson. Now you have your independent work. I want you to try these on your own. Good luck. Let me know if you need anything.